When you're making a sandwich, you can't just leave out the bread because you'll end up with a ham salad. This goes to painting as well. You can't just paint with the temperature too low because you'll end up with this. When you're painting in the winter, it's just not fun. You're cold, wet, and to crown it all off, your paint just doesn't end up looking right. Now, does this look familiar? Or does your paint just never seem to dry how long you wait for it? Or paint that just looks, well, unprofessional? The reasons these issues occur are down to temperature when painting. The curing of paint and cold conditions can take more than twice as long, so here are our top five industry tips to help you through painting in the winter. Ventilation and warmth. A well-ventilated room is not only important for your health, but makes sure your paint dries. We'd recommend that at a minimum, you always paint above five degrees, unless you're using a winter grade hardener, which can be painted below five degrees C. As well as always keeping the temperature above five degrees, we'd recommend an average temperature of around 15 to 20 degrees, because it's gonna speed things up a lot and give you the best result. Infrared drying. Infrared drying is a cost-effective and efficient way to dry paint. You can get standalone infrared units, or you can get them retrofitted into your spray booth, so with a flick of a switch, you can dry your paint. Another option is to have a separate drying oven installed into your spray shop, or have a spray booth with a bake facility. These ovens give you brilliant control over the temperature compared to infrared, which can be a bit more hit and miss. So if you're on a tight budget, then these standalone infrared will definitely be the best for you. But if you do have a bit more money to spend, then these ovens will be the most effective to help you combat the weather. Increase temperature after painting. By increasing the temperature after painting, it bakes the paint on, and so in turn, reduces the curing time of the paint. This is a brilliant way to reduce the overall time it takes for your paint to dry. For your single pack paint, you wouldn't want to bake the paint over 30 degrees C. And for two pack paint systems, we wouldn't recommend going over 60 degrees C. Thinners. We'd recommend that you look very carefully at the thinners used in your paint. If you use a fast flash off thinner, it can cause the paint to lose its gloss and it will cause a matte finish to the paint. Always use the thinners recommended by the paint manufacturer to make sure that the finish is as good as possible. Use a two-pack paint system. To ensure you get the most out of your painting, we recommend that where possible, you use two-pack paint instead of a single pack. This is because two-pack is so much more durable and can be painted at much lower temperatures. So in the depths of winter, if you haven't got very much heating in your booth, then temperature is going to drop massively. And if you're only using a single pack paint, then the chances of there being a reaction or the paint not finishing to your high standards is going to increase massively. If you're using a two pack, then winter grade hardens are sometimes available, making you able to paint in sub-zero conditions. Hope this information helps, and please subscribe for further support with your paint shop.